what's more, I think this story is really about what Jesus wants to do to those who come to him in repentance. Those who are part of his field, a part of his threshing floor. And what is Messiah doing here? What is Jesus doing here? Now, John describes it as a baptism, and we already said the baptism was, was thought of as something that purifies, something that prepared you, something that gave you purpose. And Jesus is really going to do those three things through his baptism, but in a dynamically more powerful way. He's going to purify us, he's going to prepare us, and he's going to give us purpose. So let's look at them just in the natural, okay? In the natural, the process of threshing, since we're not all farmers, I think none of us are farmers, right? Um, you, what you do is you basically, you take the stalk of the wheat, you cut it, you're going to take all that, you're going to take it to the threshing floor. The threshing floor would have been this, it could typically would have been stone, if you could have it that way. You're going to have it up on a hill um, for a reason, you'll see. So you toss all the wheat there, and then you get the stick, and you beat it to death, okay? You just beat it and beat it and beat it. And this process of beating the wheat, what it's doing is it's separating the grains of wheat from everything else. But after it's been beaten, it's not separated. It's just broken apart. And you have everything on that floor and it's just kind of all mixed up and it's messy. And so what you do to separate the two is you get that winnowing fork that John says the Messiah has. And you would, and it's like a pitchfork, okay? So you can just get this fork and you throw it up, everything up into the air. And because you're on a hill and you're in Israel and it's a little, on the hills it's breezy there. And so you'd have this wind or this breeze. And as you throw up the stuff in the air, every, this, this breeze comes by and it just begins to separate everything. So the wheat grains are much heavier than the chaff. And so as the wind blows across this stuff, you know, the chaff, the, the garbage just kind of blows over and then drops down and the wheat immediately drops down onto the threshing floor. And so you have two piles now. You have this pile of grain, which you want, and this pile of chaff, which you don't want and you'll eventually burn. How does this relate to us who believe how is this baptism? Well, think about it. Our lives are very much like that wheat. We're complicated. Um, we're this mixture of saint and sinner sometimes, right? Of this, uh, we, of this existence of fruitfulness and fruitlessness, of usefulness and not useful, right? And, and it's just kind of all bound together. And maybe you feel like that wheat. Maybe you've gone through the beating, you know? And the Lord's allowed you to go through a beating because He wants to make something good out of you. You know, He wants to take that chaff out of your life. And sometimes we try to remove the chaff on our own and it's not so successful, right? And other times we try to keep it because we're just so attached to it and so used to it. Now what Jesus comes, He wants to come and He wants to do a purifying work in your life. He wants to do a purifying work in your life. Like the wheat, you might feel like you've been beaten up you might feel like you're tossed up in the air and everything's chaotic and you don't know where which way is up and which way is down and uh, you know and it's just complete chaos in your life sometimes uh, but just know that Jesus is purifying you and he's going to have his wind his holy wind the holy spirit blowing upon your life and upon you and through the work of the holy spirit he wants to separate the garbage from your life he wants to clean you he wants to purify you from all unrighteousness. He wants to purify you from your sin. He wants to prepare you to be in the presence of God the Father. And He wants to give you a new purpose in your life. Do you want any of those things? I want those things. You know, I don't want to have to keep going back and repenting a hundred times. I want to have Him take my sin once and for all, my failures once and for all, I want him to prepare me so that I can stand in the presence of God without shame, you know. I want him to give me new purpose in my life. And that's exactly what he wants to do to you. That's exactly what he wants to do to me. And he says after he does this, he's going to take you, he's going to collect you and bring you into his barn. You will be considered fruitful. You will be considered faithful. 
And he's going to do this all through the work of the Holy Spirit. And like baptism, we all come in dirty. We all come in unworthy. We all come in not perfect, right? We all come in as a mixed bag. You know, there's some good, there's some bad, but it's messy, right? And it's not us, but it's the living water. It's the Holy Spirit that cleanses us. It's the work of the Holy Spirit through the person of Jesus Christ. And what is your part? What's my part? You know, it's really simple. All we have to do is just step out. Step out into that to the water's edge, you know. Step off to the to the edge of the cliff and let the feel the wind blowing through your hair, you know. Let Jesus Messiah do his work by his spirit in you and to you and through you. And he will do it. You know, let's not be like the Jews of John's day who repented but then did it again and again and again and again. Come to Messiah. Come to Jesus. Come to the one who can blow his Holy Spirit upon your life and change it forever. I want to...